Uh, and we have a tweet here on North Korea, which I'll read out in a second, because the World Travel Market Expo opened in London today. North Korea and Saudi Arabia are among the many countries hoping to attract the tourist dollar. Paul Nilsson is a World Travel Market Expo spokesperson. Uh, welcome. Paul, we're, we're glad Thank that you're you with us. Um, and, and as we've been saying, I mean, Saudi Arabia and North Korea both represented at the travel market. This particular t uh, emailer writes in, John writes in, he says, I'm watching the show and, uh, and this is appalling. It has to be the most, he calls the murderous re regime on earth. The prison camps are unimaginable. Uh, he goes on to say, shame on those who visit the country. Um, well, I think tourism to North Korea at the moment is very limited, yeah. but the tour operator is at World Travel Market to talk to travel agents and to try and get distribution in those maturer markets. So that would be you know, the UK, Europe and uh, North America. It's not something that's going to be en masse. We're not all going to be traveling to North Korea next year, but they're you know, dipping their toe in the water. There will be 2.5 billion pounds worth of travel industry deals taking place over the next four weeks, sorry, the next four days at World Travel Market. So it's a place where everyone comes together to sign the deals that basically decide where we all go on holiday next year. And North Korea will be a part, but it will be a very small part of that. And, and what are some of the bigger trends that you're seeing? Well, you're seeing, so in those mature markets that I discussed, so the yeah. UK, Europe and North America, we're all going on holiday more often. So we're going to more places, which is why countries like North Korea, Myanmar, Saudi Arabia are exhibiting at World Travel Market, because we're all looking for uh, a dinner party currency if you like you know we all want to go to that new destination uh, before our friends do mm. so you're seeing that key trend in the in the developed world and then in the developing BRICS markets you're seeing an emerging middle class people with more disposable income and they're looking to travel for the first time so they're, they're going abroad more and more and more which is why you're seeing we're at like 1.2 billion trips this year that's looking like it's going to increase to 1.6 billion trips by 2020 so we're just seeing more and more travel all around the world Eric I hope you're not sending first-time travelers to North Korea. No, very <laughs> not. I mean, we're not sending anyone to North Korea. So no. North Korea, the tour operator will be meeting with travel agents and other distribution right. mechanisms right. at World Travel right. Market. And then it will be those uh, companies no, that will then be selling the trips on. We're just the facilitator right. for the business, for those deals to be made. So basically, so, you know, we can all go on holiday next year. Sounds mm. good. Um, a lot of the a lot of the first time travelers from uh, some of the economies that you mentioned they are they taking the, the longer travels too because oftentimes they, they travel uh, uh, very yeah, close to right. home They're very close to home yeah. so uh, Russia is an example Egypt is a very popular market for, for the Russians yeah. so yeah from a European perspective whereas it used to be uh, the UKs and the Germans that were fighting over the sun lounges at the hotels we've now got the Russians invo you know, involved in that as well so they're the three core markets as far as mm. Europe's concerned and Saudi Saudi Arabia mm. I mean I, I've always wanted to go there and I haven't managed to go there yet um, been everywhere in the Middle East but how so so they're opening up more now Again, and how yeah, the, visa, know, the visa I, process would still be in place though yeah I think they're seeing the how the other countries around them have developed you know, the UAE obviously in Dubai and Amman and and, and those other countries in the Middle East Middle East tourism is booming we have another event in the Middle East Arabian travel market which just saw phenomenal visitor figures this year and again loads of business done specifically for the Middle East and and yeah they're, they're seeing that and they just want to you know, kind of have their part of the pie of it. Mm. Paul, thank you very much for thank coming in much. to talk to yes. us. Uh, Paul Nielsen, World Travel Market Expo spokesperson. Um,